It's been more than 150 years since the Civil War ended, and time has taken a toll on many of the grave sites of its fallen soldiers. A Central Kentucky group is making sure those soldiers are remembered this Memorial Day weekend. And as Hillary Thornton shows us, they were honored today where most of them lost their lives. Memorial Day is a time to remember and honor soldiers of war who did not return home. It's Memorial Day weekend, which itself is very special. Not too many people do Civil War memorials, extremely important four years in our history that changed this country immensely. Now the ceremony special in itself, but even more so because the ground it was held on was actually a battlefield where many of those lives were lost. Please remember what happened here, right literally here. Third phase of the Battle of Richmond was fought in this cemetery. So we're on battlefield right now. Oh, you can just actually feel it. I mean, you feel the presence of these other people in remembrance of the Union and the Confederacy and the loss of the boys that we walked on both sides. And it's, it's our heritage. A piece of our nation's history, those at the ceremony taking time to remember for many a part of their heritage, going back in time to 1862 when the Battle of Richmond was fought, where a monument now sits as a reminder of what happened at the site. Young men from Indiana, Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, Ohio, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, and Kentucky clashed in a 12-mile swath through the center of Madison County. And for scores of them, both blue and gray, they did not go home again. Nearly 250 Union troops once buried here alongside more than 175 soldiers from the South. We don't celebrate it, we commemorate it. In Richmond, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. In 1869, remains of many of the soldiers were moved to Camp Nelson National Cemetery.